on changing the belt out. I removed this fan shroud. It had three 10 millimeter bolts holding it on. One there, one there, one down here. Now, back on that alternator, that's the jacking bolt for the to tension it up. So, I'm going to try to avoid taking all these panels off to get the belt out. Because so i got to pull the roll cage then. So this is all solid around this panel here. So we'll see how that goes in a minute. So I was able to get that tensioner backed off back in there. And get some weight on it. And the tensioner there. Back that off. There's a nut on the end of that there I backed off and a bolt down the bottom so that I could rotate that alternator. Now I'm just working the belt around the pulley. Now you can see it's all dry rotted, sides glazed up a little bit. So I'm going to compare it to the new belt. Make sure it's the right size. Got the new belt, looks like the right one. So, take this and just put it on the opposite of the way I took it off. And work it back around the fan. Then get a past all the blades. Almost there. All right, and now down around the crank pulley and up around. Alternator. Looks like I gotta back it off a little bit more tight to get it around the uh, alternator. Belt on, tensioned up. Just gotta put the fan shroud back on. Um, see if it still slips when I start it up. After all that fighting with the alternator, I found that there's a little cover here next to the seat. That you can take off to get to the tensioner and everything easier. So, now I know better for next time, but I was able to get it done. Just a little bit more difficult doing it the way I did it.